Hey guys, so Maybelline recently added some new shades to their Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powders, which I'm very excited about. Ooh. Which I am very excited about. So if you guys are interested in seeing swatches of the darker shades in their collection, then just keep watching. Okay, so a lot of YouTubers end up using a darker powder that they love as a bronzer. So that's what I'm going to try today since obviously these are not my skin tone. Um, I thought it would be really fun to give you the swatches so that if you do have deeper skin tone, you can see what these colors look like to see if it's a face powder for you. Or for those of you with lighter or fair skin tones, you can see if any of these would be a good bronzer or contour option for you. So let's jump right in to the swatches. Okay, so on my face today, I am wearing the custom Made to Fit Fresh Face Foundation from Bare Minerals, and I just topped it off with a little bit of Milani Translucent Loose Setting Powder. What I have in front of me are four of the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powders. So we'll start off with 222. This one is True Beige. As always, they come with the powder, the mirror, and the puff. So here is True Beige. That one actually looks like it would be my skin color when I have a tan, right here. Next up we have 235 Pure Beige. This one looks a bit more yellow undertone. Definitely more of a yellow undertone. Next we have 320 Natural Tan, which looks like this. This one looks a little bit warmer. Natural tan. And finally we have 360 Mocha. That one's definitely, definitely deeper. So here are the four deeper shades that I have on hand. Um, right off the bat, I think I can cross off the yellowy tone one. I don't think that that will work for me. And I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna say that Mocha is also too dark for me as a bronzer, so that leaves the other two. So this first one is like a pinky brown and this one's more of like a peachy brown, so I will try using those lightly as maybe bronzer. Let's start off with the lightest one and see what that does. It's giving me more of like a blush glow than a bronze glow right now. Okay, so it definitely warmed up the skin a little bit. Let's try the deeper one and I'm going to go in with a contour brush this time. Okay, so it's giving me contour, but it's giving me a very, very warm contour. So I don't think that this will be a great contour powder, but as a warm, almost blush glow powder, it would work for fair skin. Should I try the really dark one? Let me try this deepest one, Mocha, very, very sparingly. Okay, so I'm getting like the overall effect that I want between the three powders, but are any of them an exact contour shade for me? Probably not, but I do enjoy natural tan. This one's quite nice as a warm, almost peachy bronzer. So very, very pretty, very natural looking as you can see. So I would probably use those as a bronzer, but here are the swatches again of the four deeper shades that I have. Hopefully this will show you if one of these would be a good face powder or bronzer color for you. So I hope you found this swatch video helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.